For the side bending mobility test, having good surface anatomy and pal great palpation techniques is essential. So you're going to first find C2. It's going to be this bony prominence midline. Then you're going to follow the lamina over to the articular pillar to find the transverse process of C2. You're going to roll your finger up and over the articular pillar and you'll next you'll be down at C3. So I'm going to show you how to do that on a patient. All right, from the occiput, I follow my finger down midline until I hit a bony prominence. There, I'm at C2. I follow my finger out to the side, down the lamina, up on top of the articular pillar. I roll my finger up, down, and then I let it slide down till I'm on C3. To get to C4, I roll my finger up, down, rolling down until I get to the next lamina. So at C2, I'm going to side bend the patient. With this, you want to keep a diffuse grip. You don't want to curl your finger in on top of the transverse process because there's a nerve plexus there and it'll be really irritating to the patient. You're also going to orient your fingertips up towards their eye and then side bend. Bring my finger up, back down. So now I'm at C3, C4. Drop my finger, C4, C5. This test is for hypo and hypermobility. You should gradually increase in motion as you go down the spine. Generally, C2, C3 is going to be stiff. C4, C5 is often hypermobile. Or sorry, C3, C4 is often hypermobile. And then C4, C5 is often hypermobile again, like it is with this patient. 